This is a really interesting story. The original Star Wars is one of the most iconic movies to ever appear on the silver screen. Now, Star Wars A New Hope is hoping to appeal to a new audience with a version dubbed in the Ojibwe language. Maury Glover spoke with a couple of Minnesotans who were involved in this passion project. Maury? Well, Minnesota is home to more Ojibwe speakers than anywhere else in the country, so it's fitting some Minnesotans help this collaboration between Lucasfilm and several Canadian groups blast off. It was, it was, it's pretty crazy. It's really surreal. Growing up light years from a galaxy far, far away on a reservation in northwestern Wisconsin, Dustin Morrow was surrounded by the language of the Ojibwe people. But he never imagined he would ever hear it in one of his favorite movies or that he'd play a pivotal role. Never thought I'd have the opportunity to be a part of Star Wars, but here, here we are. You know, it's crazy how life works. <laughs> Moro voices Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Ojibwe dub of Star Wars A New Hope. You can't turn away my mom does. The PhD candidate in linguistics at the University of Minnesota says he flew to Canada for a few days in May to lay down voice tracks that were used in the new version of the 1977 blockbuster. I don't know if you've ever tried to speak Ojibwe. There's a lot of tongue twisters in there, you know, so... Um... I kept fumbling up a lot, and then finally there was one magic moment where it came out perfectly, and they, all right, we're using that. I was uh, stormtrooper number two, and I was the you know announcer uh, when they're you know clear hangar bay 348 kind of stuff. In addition to voicing a couple of small roles, Ojibwe professor Anton Troyer helped adapt the script and create new terms for words like lightsaber and droids. He believes hearing Ojibwe spoken in such a popular film will help efforts to revitalize the language and keep it relevant. For any language to live, it cannot just live, you know, in academics or ceremony, or you end up being kind of like Latin. Uh, it, it has to live in the hearts and minds of young people, and that includes everything that entertains all of us. One of the first major projects like this. Morrow hopes this fictional trip to the stars will inspire others to learn Ojibwe here on Earth. I think it, it, it'll only help. And I really hope to be able to do more movies in, in Ojibwe. May the force be with you. <laughs> now, the movie premiered in Canada last month and started showing at several theaters here in Minnesota this past weekend, and it will be available on Disney Plus sometime this winter. Wow. It's so interesting. <laughs> I mean, because you think about all of the um, science fiction, so finding the words <laughs> for all of these things that are that exist in Star Wars. And you pointed out they had to make some words up, right? Because yeah, but, you know, based on, I'm guessing, yeah. you know, linguistics and kind right. of yeah. the history and everything. But, yeah, and shortened syllables, I guess, in uh, Ojibwe can take a longer syllables mm -hmm. to kind of express the same thought, so they had to kind of edit some of that stuff down. But, yeah, a lot of work, but well worth it. Oh, wow, right. just, yeah, just a fascinating project, great story. And and an interesting thing, his one of his former roommates was actually cast as the voice of Luke Skywalker. So they got to kind of uh, voice act or kind of have some interaction there together, too. So that was kind of cool. Good bonding well. uh, behind <laughs> the scenes for this project as well. Yep. All right. Thanks, Maureen. All right.